What you up to? Huh? What's going on you guys? This is Motorcycle Boss and today we're going to be talking about fixing a spongy brake lever. Subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new here, my channel is based all around motorcycle mechanics and how to save money. So if any of that interests you, feel free to subscribe. And if you think about it, the worst thing that'll happen is you might learn something in one of my videos that'll help you save some money. So with that being said, let's get into it. So it's been a little bit since I rode the bike. It's been sitting around for a little bit only because my girlfriend got an ear pierced and she rides with me and she can't put on a helmet because it's taking forever to heal. It's literally taking like a year and a half at this point, maybe a little more. So the bike's been sitting for a while. I take it out every now and then, but I noticed that my brake lever was getting really, really spongy. And I'm just assuming that some air got in the system. It's not really time to bleed the system yet, but if you are bleeding brakes, this trick can also help you if you're running into a really spongy lever after you do the brake service you're supposed to do. It's really, really simple. So bleed out all the air you can, of course, uh, doing gravity bleed if you wanted to. Do what you can to get as much air out of the system as possible. And if you get that little bit that's still in there that you can't purge out, this is the trick for you. Basically what we're gonna do is we're going to pressurize the system. There's gonna be some air bubbles inside these brake lines. And when you pressurize the system by applying the brake lever, it's going to make those bubbles shrink and have a little bit of a harder time sticking to the walls of the caliper and the brake hose and all that. So when you do that, it's going to force those bubbles to float up to the top or the highest part in the system, which should be the master cylinder. And then once you release that pressure, after it's been sitting like that for a little bit of time, those bubbles should pop up into the reservoir. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a zip tie and we're just going to zip tie this lever and we're gonna let it sit overnight. Now when you do the zip tie, you don't have to do it really, really tight. You just have to do it enough so it's a nice snug pressure like that, you know, doesn't have to be too tight. And you're just gonna let it sit like this overnight and then when you come back in the morning, you're going to cut that cable off. Now I've already done this to my bike, so I'm not gonna let it sit overnight, but that's what you would wanna do. A minimum, I would say six to eight hours minimum. You wanna let it sit there and maybe halfway in between if you wanna go down and maybe uh, just tap on these brake lines a little bit just to get those bubbles to move around so that way they can kind of float up. But after you get it done sitting for a little while, take these snips, cut that off, and then you should give it a couple pumps and you should realize you get a little bit better brake pressure. This is a really nice trick for a lot of people that are trying to bleed their brakes and you just realize you can't get it uh, rock solid as it was when it came from the factory. So I hope this helped out one of you guys and I'll see you guys in my future videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and give this a fat thumbs up, give it a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.